there's a channel called Operation Cold Front. There are a number of other channels that do this same sort of thing, where they're going around trying to prove that uh, liberals are violent. But they go around basically... Essentially, this, is, uh, this isn't the exact of each scenario that they do, but it's essentially going around in some public place and recording and being like, ha ha, Trump won, you lost, you suckers. Do you want a hug? Do you want a hug? Oh, do you want a hey, You're throwing things at me. I was asking if you wanted a hug. That sort of thing, you know, it's just... Now, it does, that, that's not the way that they do it, but that's essentially what they're doing. That's how I boil down what they're doing. Um, so they they say, oh, we're just trying to get uh, people, uh, trying to interview people. And, you know, and they've they've gotten physically assaulted. I don't condone the physical assault assaults. But y you're, you're doing these things just so you can be. So you can get attention and paint all the left as being violent. Now, I wish this sort of thing didn't piss people off quite as much as it does, but it does. And you can't pretend that you're saying, oh, I, I was just asking for hugs. What, why are you, uh, why are you getting all over me? I'm just asking for hugs, free hugs. Look, the sign says free hugs, free hugs. It's totally innocent. It's, it's, it, no, no, it's not. You know, free hugs from a Trump supporter. If you look at it from a certain perspective, there's, there's, I guess, a bit of comedy involved in the way that they, uh, they go about it. I, I feel about these the same way I do the people who go around to police checkpoints and try to, and, and record when they're there, and try to push all the police officers' buttons, as many as they possibly can, in, in, in not complying with anything the police officer asks, and then saying they have the, the legal right to do that. And some of those are in, in hopes that the police officer will do something that's not up to code, and then they can cry a uh, victim, right? But with these things, you know, I, I just, I, I just was asking for a hug. Uh, I'm, I'm a victim, and it's just like, no, you, you, you went out there looking for this. You know, this, this is what you asked for. I'm not saying it's right, but it is the way that it is. You were asking for that. No, I was asking for hugs. Bullshit. Just bullshit. And this, and I'm, I'm, I'm just, this is one of the things that I, I, I wasn't going to talk about until later on, but it's just bothering me so much. Because they, they, they're, they're showing, that these videos are showing up for me. Just, I don't, it, it blows my mind that, you can, you can honestly think that that's not trying to incite things in people. As if emotional manipulation or taunting has to be, you know, hey, by the way, I'm, I'm taunting you, and unless I say that I'm taunting you, I'm not really taunting you. It's the same kind of... <laughs> it's the same kind of reasoning people use to say, well... I'm not racist, and then they'll turn around and say all these things that prove that they think that uh, black people are inferior. But I'm not racist. Same, it's, it's same sort of uh, of mentality, and it just it just drives me up the fucking wall. Yes, the left have their problems. They have a lot of problems. They have a shit ton of problems, and they're talked about all over this platform. Okay, it's obvious that the left has some problems. That's not what this video is about. This video is about what went this this stupid behavior that you 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 claim you're not taunting anyone. You just make this claim. Yeah, just do you do you just regularly do, would if it wasn't for the political stuff, would you be on the street corner saying just free hugs, or is it free hugs from a Trump supporter? Come on now. Other people will go to you know they'll go to neighborhoods that are obviously very progressive uh, with a MAGA hat or carrying a MAGA sign or something like that, you know? It's, again, it's, 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 it's like saying, ha ha, Trump won, you lost, ha ha, ha ha, what are you gonna do about it, huh? What are you gonna do about it, buddy? Ha ha, ha ha, what are you gonna do about, <laughs> hey, you hit me! It just, 
You, you know, you, you, you can't play stupid. Okay, I, again, I am not condoning the violence. I don't think it's the right, I don't think it's the right course of action, but it's going to happen. It's going to happen. If you go around taunting people, this is going to be the result. So why don't you stop doing that? You know, and, and every time you, there's more video footage of people taunting others, it makes, it makes uh, Trump supporters look like worse people. You know, I think most people who are Trump supporters don't sit there and, and announce it to the world and, and have to say it everywhere that they go. Okay? The, you know, most of the time, I mean, I didn't see people wearing Obama hats. I'm sure that there were some Obama hats out there, but it wasn't some phenomenon. It is a massive statement to wear one of those hats. There's, there's, no, there's no getting around it. It's, it's, it's making a huge statement. Now, is that all that, you, that the person stands for? Well, no, but it is making a huge statement. Does it deserve violence? No, I don't think it deserves violence. But, I mean, when you know you're trying to be an agitator... You can't act all surprised when people get agitated. I mean, just to be blunt, these these people that do this shit, you know, you're you're endangering your lives when you go out and do this shit. You say, well, it shouldn't be that way. No, no, it shouldn't be that way, but that's the truth of it. You're actually endangering your lives whenever you do this shit. But it gets you views, so ho oh, oh boy, look, I, you got subs more subscribers. Great. So you got more subscribers. Is it worth risking your life over? I think it's a foolish thing to do. And especially knowing what the environment is like. You know, maybe you don't really realize how... how maybe you're, you're, you've convinced yourself. You've deluded yourself into thinking that you're not actually trying to cause a problem. Now, having said that, you know, to be honest, it, it is an interesting social experiment that these people are doing. But why, why can't they be more honest about why they're doing it? You know, why can't they be more honest about it? Continually seeing this sort of thing over and over again makes a really bad impression about those on the right. A, a, type, a certain type of dishonesty is considered okay. I'm not saying that across all Republicans. How could you say that about me? I'm just here because... Insert excuse here. How could you insinuate such things about me? I'm... I'm offended. Well, you just said uh, these things over here. Uh, what does this add up to? But yeah, every one of those, these videos where you're trying to cause a problem, you make the right wing look worse. You do a disservice to those on the right. You think you're just exposing the left, but it's just like, this, this is inevitable that this is the way that people are going to respond. Trump is the embodiment of everything that's wrong with this country, from a, from a left uh, perspective. And in my opinion, it's, it's the same reason why the rest of the world somewhat hates and also fears the United States. It's a survival of the fittest mindset. Cutthroat, cunning. It's demanding more from the rest of the world. Not a team player, lying to get our way. Imperialism, being like a used car salesman or a con artist, a swindler. Those kinds of values are unfortunately associated with the United States. Should it be? No. The United States has a lot of great things about it. But there are things that are, that are wrong. And those types of things that I listed that were wrong are what Trump embodies. It's, it, he's, he, to, to people on the left, Trump is the worst of the worst. And it's not just, it's not just the, uh, because of what people are calling propaganda coming from uh, left-wing mainstream media. It's not, just, it's not just that. Trump wants to divide the country. He has no problem dividing the country. He'll make the claims that he's doing something else, just like the uh, the people uh, with the the free hugs from a Trump supporter sign. It's it's the same sort of mentality. It's another thing that's so bothersome 
about Trump's personality. You know, we, we, a president shouldn't be trying to divide the country. Well, he's not saying that he wants to divide the country. He's saying he wants to unite and, and bring everyone together. Yeah, like he's going to do that with these kinds of policies and with this kind of rhetoric and with these kinds of tweets and all of that. No. He enjoys dividing the country. Okay, we shouldn't have a president that's dividing the country. That's, that's even proud of dividing the country while lying about it. Okay, tr Trump is, is a despicable character. In Back to the Future, uh, in the Back to the Future movies, Biff Tannen was modeled after Trump. You know, in, in, in some ways, it's, it's all the things that, all the, of the bad stereotypes that people dislike about America. And there it is, all right there. And, and people are just saying, oh, Trump is great. Oh, look at, look at the, all the, this shitty ways that we've treated the world, treated other people, looked at other people. And people, you know, pushing this stuff as if it's something we should be proud of. It's like saying the church should be proud of that their, that their uh, priests molested kids. You know, that's, to, to me, that's what it's like. It's, it's, it's kind of the equivalent of. Yay, let's, let's, let's be proud of everything that, that, that most of the time, you know, people who are really thinking about things and how we affect the rest of the world and we affect the people that are around us. That's the stuff that we, that's the stuff that makes us sometimes ashamed. Ashamed of our history. Ashamed of some of the patterns that are still going on. You know, as I said before, there, there's no, no country is without problems. But when there's these attitudes now that we should like all the things that make America crap, otherwise we hate America, you know, I'd like us to focus on the things that make America great. Why don't we focus on the things that actually make us great? Because there's a lot of things. We have an awesome constitution. We have, we do have freedom of speech. Maybe not on social media, you know as far as the concept of, of freedom of speech, but uh, we're certainly not going to be punished by the government because we simply said something unpopular. We have freedoms that most other countries don't. We should be proud of that.